Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. This is Janelle and today I'll be showing you guys that bows can actually be useful for once. I'll be showing you guys what weapon I use, where to find them, and how to use them. So without further ado, let's get started. The weapon I'm currently using is called the Black Bow. It is a super unique long bow because it has the moveset of a short bow, which means when you do rolling attacks and jump attacks, it'll be super fast. Okay, so for the seal, just use anything with zero weight. We'll only be using them for Golden Vow and Flame Grant Me Strength anyway, so... Okay, so in order for us to use the weapon, we actually need to find the weapon first. So we're gonna be traveling to Lane Dell and teleporting to Avenue Balcony and just follow where I'm going. Okay, for the armor, I'm currently using the deathbed dress because I want to keep my character as light as possible for one of the talisman. If you keep your weight below 9, 16, or 30, it's gonna give you a lot of damage. So for the first talisman, we're gonna be using the blue dancer charm, which is gonna give us more damage the less we weigh. So the second one would be the Shard of Alexander, which is gonna give us like 15% damage increase for Barrage. Okay, the next talisman is called the Arrow Sting, which is gonna give us like 10% damage increase for bows and arrows. And then the fourth one would be the Ritual Sword Talisman, which is gonna give us like 10% damage increase as long as we have full HP. So for this build, I'm currently level 145. I have 40 Vigor, but you can take that up to 60. And I have 25 Mind, 25 Endurance. I have 40 Strength and 40 Dexterity. You don't really need Intelligence. I have 25 Mind for Golden Vow and you don't really need Arcane for this build as well. So in order for us to craft the Blood Bone Arrows, we're gonna need the Nomadic Warrior's Cookbook number 6 and here's where to find it in Fort Height. Another ingredient that we need is called the tin bones and instead of like farming them around animals, we can actually just beat this boss and take his bell bearing to the twin husk and just bite him at the round table hold. You can find this boss at the war master shack in Limgrave but it needs to be night time as well. Okay, the next ingredient that we need in order to craft blood bone arrows is called blood roses and here's where you can find them at Mogwin's mausoleum. Um, it'll be a hidden merchant here, so just follow where I'm going and for the sake of convenience, we're gonna have to toot this merchant and take his bell bearing to the twin husk and round table hold so we can just buy them there. Okay guys, that's gonna be it for this video and I hope you guys find this build super fun. Please consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you guys found this video super useful. And let me know what you guys want to see more of next. Thank you guys so much for watching and hope to see you guys on the next one. Bye.